So I've known um, from when I was a little girl that I um, have suffered with insecurity and I wondered if any of you had known that you've suffered with that, which I'm sure you probably have. Um, that is because people think that it is a normal human condition to become insecure. Well, let me tell you that it is not. I want to tell my story of how I have been able to battle insecurity and I think through Jesus Christ I have overcome it. It took me a long time to really know where that insecurity came from and, and still to this day I, I can't pinpoint exactly where that that start of that seed of insecurity was planted but certainly I know elements of, of what happened there um, from you know, when I was a little girl, um, I had the worst book teeth in the free world. Uh, probably also did not help uh, that I, at the age of 10, had a nose that was half my body weight. Um, also, um, when I was quite young, we were able to wear a fishnet hose, um, but unfortunately, my mum would not let me shave my legs at that point. So I had to wear fishnet stockings with hairy legs. So I'm sure you can imagine that image, but also to add to that, I was the only blonde in a family of brunettes and my mother used to baptise my head in bleach and that did not always go well. Uh, so I'm sure you can imagine uh, what that looked like. Now, on a more serious note, I also uh, suffered uh, from abuse. Uh, from a very early age and that certainly was a lot of the reasons why I became profoundly insecure. There was all these things that attributed to this one clot of insecurity that it started to rule my whole life. I fell victim to, to addiction and I'm so thankful uh, to say that I have been able to overcome that and in writing the book Breaking Free, uh, which not all of you will have read that, that is an in-depth Bible study and what I feel that God uh, has called me to do is to create these in-depth Bible studies um, where I'm able to study his word and share the word of Jesus Christ. It is my greatest delight and I I've never been happier than when I am with the word of, of God. It empowered me to, to see the injustice and see my foes, um, see the justice of, of God really. So. That certainly helped me on the road to recovery and I thought, Angie, I thought, you know what, I haven't actually tackled this thing head on, I haven't confronted insecurity as a whole. I thought of little bits of why I was insecure, but I've never confronted why I, I was insecure, why that one class of insecurity fed into so many different parts of my life. So, what is insecurity? Have we all suffered with it? Yes, we have. But what is it? It's it's that thought in your mind, that, that niggling feeling that you have, that temptation to doubt yourself, that thought of, you don't look pretty today, you're, you're not very smart, someone is smarter than you, someone is better than you. Always that comparison between yourself and someone else. So what we need to do is, is think, well, what is that? That is the devil sat on your shoulder thinking, if I feed her these things, then it will it will take her away from the path, move you away from the path that God has set out for you. He fills you with that fear that you, you don't have it, what it takes to, to fulfil that destiny. But if you read the words of God, if you study what he has told you and the words that he's given you, you'll be able to fulfil that destiny. The devil doesn't want you to do that and that's why he feeds you these lies into your ear and if you let yourself be empowered by the words of God, you'll be empowered and have the faith not only in Jesus our Lord, but also in yourself to overcome and say, no, I won't let my soul's security be trapped in another person's words, in another person's attitudes towards me. I will let myself believe what God has set out for me. I've been created in his image. So if I've been created in the most perfect being's image, then how can it be wrong to feel this way, to live this way and to have confidence in what you are, who you are and, and how you live your life. If you allow the words of Jesus Christ into your life, then his light will shine through you and you'll be able to see that in the people that you speak with, also what they have to say with to you, but also in the p things that people say to you, 
they they'll bounce off you. You don't need to take those those words and add them to the weight that you already have to carry. Your load is is heavy enough, and if you let if you take those words on, then it just will not allow you to you know if you take everything on that people say, it will just make this ride not enjoyable. And what is the point in living this life in in fear and sin? And if you always do what you've always done, then you will always get what you've always got. So you need to make that change to to start letting the words of Jesus into your life. And that will empower you to to fulfil your destiny. And if you allow yourself to become this being, then you will rid yourself of the albatross of chronic insecurity because Jesus died to give you that and you can bet your life that you will be able to get rid of it through his words.